everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how you can turn the, the leaves that we created in the previous video into feathers. So I'm going to start by creating the backing for this piece just like I did before. And I'm sure that's something you don't care to see. Okay, now to create the feathers is basically just the same steps as the leaves. Alright, I'm going to start with a bit larger shape though. Again, round down the edges. Alright. One of these days I'll learn to get my tools ready ahead of time. We're going to create a vein down the center again. But this time, we're going to make a couple of cuts. Now you're going to want the cuts to be in line with the veins you're going to put down the side of the feather. Yes, buddy, I hear you. Alright, so we're just going to cut a little wedge out. Just randomly wherever you feel like. Okay. Then we're just going to do the same veining, but this time we're going to do them a lot closer together. Okay, and if you don't have one of these color shapers, I've had mine for years, as you can tell, uh, it no longer says color shaper on it, you should really get one. They're a great, they're a great tool. Alright, now we're just going to repeat the same process on the other side, but to make this easier on myself, I'm going to reposition the feather. And as you can see, I'm kind of dragging the craft knife towards the end of the stroke. That helps to create that feather, feathered appearance. And towards the tip of the feather, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the angle of the strokes. Alright. Now, of course, if you don't have a color shaper, uh, any regular brush will do the same thing. the The important part of the color shaper is the silicone tip at the other edge comes in really handy okay now
what he really wants in, doesn't he? Again, I'm just trying to make sure that some point of the feather makes contact with the backing that we put behind the stone. Because I didn't put any um, translucent sculpey under the feather, although you could. Alright, so really and truly, that is enough to hold that stone. But I want to put another little feather on this other side. Alright, so the same way that I sculpted the feather, I'm going to try to do the same thing on this side. So on this one, I really just want it to be rounded on, on the one side. I don't, I don't necessarily need it to have this curve. Alright. I'll try to show you what I mean. Alright, so it can be just a little more leaf shaped. Alright, and you don't always have to put um, the notch in the feather on both sides. You could just put it on the one side. And of course you could do it without the veins as well. Let me make sure I'm still on, on frame there. Okay, remembering to make sure to have it make contact with the Okay. Again, with my <laughs> not having my tools ready. Alright, this is just a basic... Um, mica powder it's not a particular brand or anything like that i'm just gonna add just a touch down the center Alright, and don't worry about it sticking to the stone. Since the stone is already baked, it's easy to clean it, clean it off. Okay, 
here it is out of the oven I did go ahead and glaze the stone with a bit of varathane and I antiqued the feathers with some of the deco art media um, antiquing creams all right I did go ahead and put it on a chain with some beads um, these are actually stone beads and I'm not sure what the stone is all right now one of the things I wanted to show you is this is the first one that this is the first one that I did this is the second the difference is I didn't notch the edges like I did on the first piece so you can see it gives a little bit more of a feather look on the one that I didn't notch than on the one that I did all right and besides the fact that the feathers are going up on this one and going down on this one all right and these stone beads I think they're the same stone uh, type of stone they all came in the same bag anyway um, but they may these may be dyed I'm not sure these however look like they're um, the real color of the stone I thought they matched really well all right so that's those two now these are the ones that I did before with the leaves all right we've got a couple of little nuggets of amethyst on this one and this one has a couple of nuggets of lapis all right all right so there you go four bezels basically from the same um, technique just using a little different um, a little different use of your craft knife basically this one I didn't do any veining on other than the central vein this one I did do with the back of the craft knife and both of these with the back of the craft knife all right so thanks so much for watching Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.